and happy Friday on this Jesse Says de Septiembre. Of course, that was Viva Tejana Dance Company, and you're going to see a performance for them from them in a little bit ahead of the parade. Well, our first guest today is the original winner of Last Comic Standing. He'll be performing Friday and Saturday night at Upstage Comedy Lounge. Joining us is the man, the actor, the legend, the comedian, <laughs> dad fan, and of course, Mary Bacay, hey. also comedian. All right, so. And legend. And, and also She's legend in legend. her own right. Yes, yes. Triple, triple <laughs> legend. Extraordinaire, everything. Okay, so this isn't your first time in San Antonio, right? Oh yeah, I, I performed at UTSA twice. And okay. this is my first time here not performing at a university, so that's nice. <laughs> that's nice, yes. right? Okay. Um, have you gotten to sample any of the restaurants around town? Yes. Okay. Yes. What were the restaurants that we ate at, Mary? We went remember? to Wayne's Wings. Yes. Um, and we went to Los Hoyos, um, the coffee shop in uh, Los Patios. Great. Okay. Um, is there any food you're looking forward to trying here? I want to try some good San Antonio barbecue, and if anybody knows, I'm in a wild search for that. I heard the firehouse is really good. I don't know. I haven't been there. You know, it depends on who you ask and where you are on the best barbecue in San Antonio. It's, but, like, it's like asking Vietnamese people, right? Sure. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I tell you what the best pho is, come on down for a bowl of soup. There's 21 different best ones. So same thing with the barbecue. But I tell you, if anybody watching right now wants to recommend a barbecue place, they can, what, Instagram, right? Yeah, just Instagram me. Just DM me. Slide I'll be into waiting. the DMs. Yes, Slide into my DM and show me where the best barbecue is. It's so good. So tell us a little about your comedy style. We've seen a little bit of it. Well, my comedy is very political, and by political, I mean very Vietnamese, <laughs> very barbecue, very, yes. And I like to travel with a, a white Karen comedian. <laughs> Just double white women comedy show. That, that sounds inappropriate, but it was very appropriate. <laughs> so getting into comedy, what made you decide to do it? Uh, you see, I failed math in high school. I dropped out of college, and this is the only option to get some health care, and I'm still <laughs> trying to do it. There's a doctor here. Hopefully, sh I can get an examination later on. <laughs> so, so you've been in several TV shows and movies. Yes. Uh, do you have kind of a, a favorite memory or experience or funny moment? Yes. I've been on Magnum. I've been on Maverick as well. I don't know what <laughs> show that is, show. according to Mary. Uh, no, it's, it's been a wild ride. Since last Comic Standing, I've been doing a dozen TV shows and movies, and it's very fun. I'm still trying to get health care. <laughs> is there, who's like the nicest celebrity you've ever met? The nicest celebrity I met are two people, Angelica Houston and also Casper Van Dien from Starship Troopers. Oh, Starship the Bugs! Yes! The Bugs! He's one of the yes. nicest, my hero, one of the nicest guys, Casper. <laughs> get Starship Troopers, that is a classic. Oh, I love white people, I love white people. <laughs> so good. Okay, um, so what do you do in your spare time, if you have any? On spare time at the hotel, I do very exciting things, <laughs> very wild, almost inappropriate, Whole Foods. <laughs> I go to Whole Foods and get bags of groceries, I eat bananas. Uh, it's so exciting I that am. the producer's looking away right now as he's filming me. <laughs> what? Is that what, what can someone always find in your fridge? Uh, you can find bananas and orange juice, that's how I party. <laughs> Lots of carrot juice, uh -huh. very exciting. I have kind of sharp eyes for an old Filipino man. <laughs> Yeah, well, just, <laughs> this is racist, but it's not. It's just making oh fun my of myself. God. All right, so we've got a couple of uh, rapid fire questions here. Um, what superpower do you wish you had? Please don't say rapid fire to a Vietnamese refugee. <laughs> I appreciate that. But my, fa <laughs> my favorite superpower is to find barbecue as soon as possible. I need to. I'm at my second trimester right now, so I'm trying to head towards the third. Thank you. Thank you for zooming in on that. Trying to get to the third trimester <laughs> with the best barbecue in San Antonio. Hey, corn or flour tortillas? <sighs> Being Vietnamese, it has to be corn. You know, <laughs> we need the vegetables to survive. We're the boat people, and that's what got. That made no sense. We we went from Iowa to America. Favorite junk food? Favorite junk food? Snickers bar. It satisfies me. <laughs> Just a chocolate candy bar by myself at home with Whole Foods. Dogs or cats? Dogs. I have a dog you named Jasper. Dog. Uh -huh. I like my dogs like I like my women, white <laughs> and furry. <laughs> what famous person that you haven't met would you like to meet? Tom Hanks. Come on. <laughs> Tom Hanks. Yes. Forrest Gump. You know Forrest what I'm talking Gump. about. Cast away. Yes. All right. If you weren't a comedian, what would you be doing? If I wasn't a comedian, I would be laying on the couch eating Snickers bar all day, crying because there's nothing else. This is it. <laughs> this is it, San Antonio. This is it, Fiona. <laughs> and you got married during lockdown. Yes. There's nothing better than to be married to a white librarian 
and having a white dog at the beginning of the fall of society, the apocalypse. And uh, that is the name of our wedding, Apocalypse in the Backyard. And uh, we made it through two years. We can make it through anything. I was going to say, if you got through that, you'll, that's it. This is going to last. Oh. It's going to last forever. We can, I think this is it. This is it. It's like I survived the Vietnam War as a baby, and then we survived an apocalypse of pathogens. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. After Pathogens, coming down to the comedy club. We're going to yes. have a great time. All right, so Upstage Comedy Lounge, of course, this Friday and Saturday. Friday at uh, 8 p.m., Saturday, two shows, 7 and 9 p.m., right? Yep. Of course, tell folks how they can follow you, how they can find yeah. out what's next. Dat underscore fan on Instagram. I'll connect you to all of you. And we're very safe down there and funny. So come on down. And uh, speaking of uh, Asians and rice, let's talk about burgers. <laughs> We have upstage comedy club, Vietnamese comedians, Karens and burgers, That's and right. look at this. All, they're all gonna be, this is Chuk Jeting Nguyen, and then this is Mary Picarazzi as well. We're all gonna be performing together. With or without burgers, with but we are. Burgers. Yes. Okay, well, we make sure we at least feed you. Here yes, the thank you. Oh, you're thank welcome. You. All right, we don't want anybody to go hungry. All right, a scene on SA Live is where we provided a link for more information or just scan that QR code that you see on your screen. Mm.